Hey, it was Adam Fotex, but now one hit, I'm back on some Madden 25 Ultimate Team, and Madden just keeps the jokes coming. They dropped the new Foundation Collection and D Milliner's reward card, and this guy was so bad last season. I have no idea how he got a card. I know he's a rookie, I know he's inexperienced, but the fact that this guy got a card after being benched, playing about three good games his entire career, doesn't really make too much sense. I call it the dartboard theory. They get a dartboard player's names and throw at the dartboard, and D Milliner stuck, and... This guy was voted the 11th worst cornerback in the league last year, and now he has himself a 96 foul edition card. Man, it's just, the jokes just keep on coming in. But anyway, this guy's card is not bad, though. 96 B, 94 agility, 96 acceleration, 95 jumping. He is 5'11", so not a pretty short cornerback, a pretty average. He has 95 man coverage, 93 zone coverage, 79 hit power, and a pretty good catching at 83. But like I said, this guy really didn't deserve this card. I'm trying to think of a player who played well last year to deserve the card at cornerback. I'm not too sure, so if you guys know in the comment section below, feel free to let me know. But, man, like, why? Do you guys watch football at EA? Like, I, I, I'm asking honestly. Now we're on to Luke Jokel, and once again, I have to ask this question. Do these guys down there in Orlando watch football? Because this guy should not have a card. He got an ankle injury on October 8th, 2013, missed the entire season after being placed on IR, and somehow, some way, he has a 91 right tackle card. And this is even more damning than anything. Why is it a right tackle? They traded their best offensive lineman to the Ravens to start Lujoko at left tackle, but yet he is a right tackle in this game. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, let's check this guy out. Yeah, even the back of the card says it's a left tackle, so whatever. I don't want to keep arguing with nobody come talking to myself right now. But 92 strength, 78 awareness, 87 run block strength, 93 run block footwork. This guy is kind of confusing because I'm looking at this guy's depth chart stats. He has... 89 acceleration which is amazing a fast player 83 agility and 69 speed but his run blocking is so suspect i might buy this guy's card when it gets cheaper and try him out a left guard right guard because he already has low awareness regardless can't get any, any lower than 78 see how fast he is he has some pretty good impact blocks and pretty good speed and acceleration but this guy's card is really hard to read just based off looking at this guy's attributes right now compare him to andre smith and Andre Smith is a hell of a pass blocker or has hell of a strength, hell of strength, but he does not that good at anything else. And I don't use Andre Smith regardless. He's pretty much just there because he's a stopgap. So I think Luke Joko might make his way on my team. I just kind of wish he got that left tackle slot. And I also wish he didn't get a card. Up next today is Connor Barr and left outside linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's check it out real quick. 87 speed and tackle, 85 strength player recognition, 82 awareness, 83 agility, the highs being 93 block shot, 93 pursuit, 91 acceleration, 94 injury, and a 96 empowerment, which is super crazy. He also has an 86 hit power and only a 79 jump rating. I thought the jumping might be a little higher than 79. This guy did play college basketball, but hey, that's neither here nor there. I don't mind this guy getting a card. I kind of crushed the first two cards earlier because yeah, you guys know why. But this guy is neither the Eagles doing a 3-4, so it is nice to get a guy out there on the defensive side of the ball. Pair him up with Trent Cole and watch the sacks pile up or watch the picks pile up. So I went ahead and just bought this Ruben Randall for 4,000 coins because I had the coin to buy it. Let's check it out real quick. 95 speed, 94 catching, 92 catching traffic, and 94 release. Wow, dude has 95 speed, 94 release, and he's 6 for 3. Nice combination right there. He has low awareness, low route running, and low spec catch, but that's not that big of a deal. Now, I checked this guy's depth chart stats out. He has a low jumping with 87, which is not a good look. He's 6'3 with an 87 jump rating, which means he's not going to be that receiver that goes up there and catches those jump balls. He's going to be one of these guys that gets jumped on because he, he can't jump too high, so that's going to be an issue right there. But he does have a 91 spin move, and that pretty much is where it ends. He has high injury at 97, but this guy's card is none too impressive, but like I said, it's a cheap card. A price will probably be cheaper than 4,000 coins sometime soon. If you guys bring a budget squad out there, this guy will be a nice dish to your squad. I'm going to go ahead and compare this guy I can to somebody else on my team right now who is around the same rating. Let's see. Uh, Dre Nelson, let's compare those two real quick. And Nelson's obviously a lot better, but that's not a fair comparison. So this guy, like I said, he's not a bad card. I'm going to probably use him in situations like deep balls and just see if this guy can outrun, outrun the cornerback. But this guy is not going to be a permanent start on my team right now. I can tell you that much. Last card needed for the D-Miller collection is going to be this Perry Riley, middle linebacker, going for 20,000 coins. Let's check it out real quick. 88 speed, 85 agility, 93 block shed, 96 tackle, 95 play recognition, 86 awareness, 87 strength, and 92 pursuit. Now, at first glance, this guy's card looks very similar to half the linebackers in this game. You got him compared to John Beeson, who has pretty much similar attributes. And here, here he is compared to Luke Keekley, who has similar attributes for that matter as well. 
Now, you go to the depth chart, that's when things seem to shine brighter. This guy's card is pretty awful. <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. Like, he has an 89 injury, which is just awful. 83 stamina, 77 jumping, 48 catching, which is just bad. He has low hit power, low power and finesse move. And the only 90 stats you see on this guy's card are on the back. <laughs> so this guy's card is not a linebacker I will be using, but I'm not mad at this guy got a card. The Washington R's do run a 3-4 scheme, so having him and Fletcher out at the same time might make a good combination. I hope chemistry next year is kind of depending on that because I'd rather have chemistry where London Fletcher and Perry Riley, who are on the same team, play with each other all the time and know what each other are going to do and what their capabilities are and what their capabilities aren't and that will make them pair up a lot better in Madden but with this year it doesn't matter you put anybody else out there but Perry Riley's card is not terribly bad it's just not as good as the back of the card makes it seem and that'll wrap things up. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick Final Edition card review. If you guys did, please thumbs up the video. Also, they got premium packs in the game right now. Now, I would not recommend you buy the premium bundle because, yeah, I saw a guy one of these up earlier and he probably made back 50K, if that. And he only pulled one. Yes, one. Not a typo, not a mispronunciation. He pulled one <laughs> draft collect before the collection. That is awful. Out of 50, though, I got, the odds aren't in your favor regardless. There's 1,024 collectors in the game, so it wasn't in his favor regardless. But I would not recommend anybody spend 75 bucks on a premium bundle. If you are going to spend 75 bucks, wait until the legendary bundle comes back because I'm telling you, those have the best value. You guys saw my video. I pulled pretty much a bunch of rookie legends, but because rookie legend collections are hot right now, I made a killing off those cards. But anyway, folks, that's the video. I'm the Texas boy. I am out of this mother bleeper. Do not bleeping buy a premium bundle. I'm warning you guys. Peace.